after this massive wave of Omicron, uh, I believe that the era of extraordinary government and societal uh, intervention to control uh, COVID-19 is essentially going to be coming to an end. The pandemic in the sense of that societal response is over. Uh, we are going to go through an extraordinary wave of COVID transmission because of the Omicron variant with more than half the world getting infected by the time uh, it sweeps through the world and will be subsiding in March. Uh, and at that point, population levels of immunity, both because of Omicron, because of uh, vaccination, will be at the highest level ever. We should go into a period of very low transmission until the next variant comes along. But even when the next variant comes along, I don't believe the pandemic in the sense of a broad societal response requiring emergency intervention that affects both people's, uh, the economy, how people live their lives won't be required because we won't have people that are unvaccinated and never infected or very few. We will have ongoing efforts to vaccinate and we will have uh, the new tools of the antivirals. So that even when the next variant comes along, uh, we will manage it like any other disease uh, that we manage around the world, including things like um, seasonal flu or respiratory syncytial virus. You know, the word pandemic is used to mean many things. Uh, it's, you know, official meaning is to say uh, a new infection that is spread globally. People have loosely used the word pandemic to refer, for example, to the rise of diabetes around the world or the pandemic of drug use. Uh, it has come to mean many things. The way I'm using the pandemic, and I think most people in um, society is using the pandemic over the last two years, is this emergency crisis which has required or necessitated governments, whether local or national, to take extraordinary action, to put in stay-at-home orders, to put in mandates on behavior, to have social distancing, to close businesses and schools. That aspect of the pandemic, the societal response, is the part that I think is coming to an end. As we get through this wave, uh, which will be pretty quick, uh, in the next you know, four or five weeks, we should be through most of the Omicron wave, that yes, indeed, I think we will go through a period of very low transmission uh, until a new variant emerges or until next winter, in, in depending on which hemisphere you're in. And I think that uh, we will not see the need for government mandates on behavior. Now, individuals who are at risk will want to make their own choices to protect themselves. So if you are elderly or you have multiple comorbidities, uh, some individuals are gonna probably want to continue to be very cautious and use a mask if there's you know, a, a new surge of transmission in, in your community. We should expect new variants. There's no reason evolution of the virus will stop. Of course, there's a great debate as to whether this will be from the Omicron lineage and likely you know, not very severe in the future, or as Omicron surprised us all, could come from a completely different lineage. Um, so we expect there will be new variants. The difference is we have the tools to protect ourselves, vaccination, appropriate dosing of third or fourth uh, doses of the vaccine, uh, you know, for people who are at high risk, uh, wearing a mask, you know, avoiding uh, too much contact if and when there's a, a new wave, and the advent of antivirals. So it's like many diseases we track at the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation. They have a huge impact on the world, uh, and there are many things we can do to reduce risk. Uh, and we need to start thinking about COVID-19 like so many of the other diseases that create, um, you know, suffering and hardship around the world. This is sort of a, a, a watershed for the pandemic, where we go from something we've been battling with these extraordinary efforts to a, um, you know, an endemic or recurrent disease that we learn to, to manage uh, both on the health system side and the societal side.